Hello and welcome to Mickey Art. My name is Michelle Edhouse and today I am playing with kitchen utensils. Yay! Now, this thing here is a grater. It comes with a little container and you're supposed to grate your cheese or whatever in and then you can, you've got a container, it's not all over the bench, blah blah blah. It's useless, don't buy them unless you're using it for painting. Well, let's see if it's usable for painting. Um, so it comes with three different fittings. It comes with the normal size grater, the small grater, and then the straight grater. So let's see if we can make this grater great again. <laughs> Honey. Um, so I've got a set up here. I've got... Um, Two little sticks, my stero sticks, sitting on top of tins, weighted down, and then sit that, and that actually makes it sit pretty much in the middle of this canvas. This is a uh, eight by ten, I think. Yes, yes, eight by ten. Um, eight by ten canvas, which is got pins underneath to hold it up off the ground um, so what colors should we use um, I haven't done this greater thing before um, it's a um, I've seen a lot of people using calendars and they look super cool but I don't have that style calendar and the style calendar that I have um, I don't get it would work and I'm not going out to buy a calendar just to have a go. So, um, I looked through the kitchen and went, oh, look, I'll play with this one. So, uh, colours, colour, 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 colours. What, um, I really enjoyed the way the fuchsia and burgundy and orange worked on that tile I did a while ago um, I've used up all the burgundy it was a cool color I liked it so I'm gonna team them up with some blue and see what that does and just to give it a little bit more lightness some white and if I feel like it I found that this berry um, when I looked at my stir sticks for the berry can you see this the berry and that fuchsia are reasonably similar and I reckon that would go in there quite nicely to give it a bit of a sparkle. Uh, I'm going to be, stay in the question on that one. So we're using Deco Art Semco Chroma A2 and Reeves Intro for this. How's it getting any better? Now all my paints are mixed with Floetrol and water and... Um, I have a feeling that it could come out quite interesting or it could come out one of those highfalutin flops. So let's see what would it take for it to be a fantastic success. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put silicon in the fuchsia and the orange but not in the white and the blue. Um, for my silicon, I use Durex Play Perfect Glide Pleasure Gel, um, and just a couple of little, couple of little stirs in there, alright, let's see, there. and if you've been watching my channel, you'll know <laughs> that Always close the lid of your put of Durex away from your canvas because otherwise you get a little fine splattering of silicon across the canvas and uh, it could do weird things with this. It dries alright if you are um, using what's that thing called? Negative space. Just sits on the top of the negative space. It's all good. So, we've got those ready. What I thought I would do 
is just lose a bit thick. Just add a bit of water to that. Um, what I thought I would do is make a puddle of blue for it all to start on. Um, and we will see what gets created. So I'm just going to spread that around a bit. I'm not going to completely create a negative space with the blue. And what else is possible? Let's let's give this a go. I yeah, it's definitely playtime, people. Experiment, play. What magic can we create? And while I'm just tidying up here, I just want to say thank you to all of you that are choosing to subscribe to my channel. I am so excited. Every day when I look at my channel and I see these new subscribers, I'm like, oh my goodness, how does it get any better than that? So grateful for all of you choosing to come and play and watch what I'm doing. Um, so, ah, uh, that's not what I planned. Let's see. Let's see what happens when we drip paint through these holes. Just random application of paint. What's gonna get created? Oops, let's center you off a bit. And maybe even zoom in a bit. There we go. Just so you can see what I'm seeing. Do you see what I see? <gasps> Sneaking out the sides. Hey. <laughs> The cool thing with the calendar is that you don't see it till you've lifted it up. Whereas this is pouring out the sides. It's so cool. Um, the interesting thing about this is you get to see it as it pours out the sides. I'm thinking it's looking pretty cool. What else? Hmm. Should I tilt it just a little bit? I don't want it all just to start running off the sides. I do actually desire it to get outwards a little bit. Um, not, I might put some more white in there, you know what, the other thing I'm being really aware of is that I need it to go through the holes and not through, pour over the sides, I don't need it to, I'm, um, uh, I would prefer it to. Maybe I should have wet the entire canvas. How's it get any better? Let's put some more blue on that. Where's it going? <laughs> this is so funny! Ah. So, my question to you is do you have fun with your painting? Is it joyful for you to paint? 
Or are you only painting for the significance of, oh, I'm an artist, and oh, I need to get a good result, and oh, how does it get any better than this? What? What do you mean, how does it get any better than this? It must be perfect the first time. How much significance are you placing on your paintings before you even start? I'm just tilting this. If you can't see what I'm doing, I've got my fingers under one end. I'm just looking to get the paint to come out. This could end up being quite messy, what do you reckon? <laughs> I watched somebody the other day and they were doing they were doing a calendar pour and then they had it on their lazy Susan and went once they took the calendar off they spun it. Oh no they were spinning, actually they were spinning the whole thing with the calendar on and pouring the paint on the Lazy Susan the whole time. It was kind of a very cool result. Um, that is a lump. I don't want that lump to go down there. No lump. <gasps> Lumps. Okay, so the question then becomes, at what point do you stop and tilt it? At what point do you... Oh look, let's just spread this out so it's got somewhere to run. Somewhere to run to baby, I need somewhere to go. Somewhere to run to, I'm gonna run, run, run. All over the place, I gotta run, run, run. Hmm. Is that enough paint? What do you guys reckon? I do. I think we have enough paint, so. I'm gonna remove that. Ready to see it all in its glory? Yay! How does it get any better than that? That's. Bizarrely cool. <laughs> Let's get these out of the way. Let's just, as I said, dampen up the sides so that it can run. Run, run, run. Alright, so it's tip. I'm gonna tilt this and see what we get. It's kind of a bit like a spiral pour, isn't it? It's like you know what I need? I need a corner catcher. So, what have you got in your kitchen? What have you got in your garage? What have you got in your home that could be a contribution to your paintings? What have you been not acknowledging that is already a contribution? Eek. That's actually pretty. Look at that. Huh, I like that. I'm going to keep that. Airplane! Coming into land. 
The joys of living only two kilometres away from the airport and the flight path. Now I am not excited about the colour that the orange and the blue made to each other. That looks a bit browny, goopy to me. Not exciting. So, what I do like is this top half up here. So the cool thing about this method of painting, you put so much on that with the bits you hate, you pull them off. So, how does it get any better than that? That's better. Okay. Hehe. <laughs> right. Now, I need to zoom you out. Backs of thumbs. There we go. Huh. It's not working. Alright, I'm going to turn my gloves off. Zoom you out so you can actually see what I've done. There we go. That's the whole painting. Now. Let's just get rid of some of those air bubbles. And see if we've got any cells that want to come play. Oh, check it out. There are cells in there. Yay. Mm -mm. The cells are coming to play. Hmm. Not sure if I would promote this as a method of of painting. You know what? I would say if you use this method of painting, maybe some different colours would be in order. Um, I do love the rings that this has created in here and the purple and the blue in here. I think if you kept it to um, three colours, like if it was just blue, uh, um, fuchsia and white, I would I would be loving it a lot more. Um, even even the orange and blue, if they were just on their own without the, if you just look at that patch, they look quite good. But then the contrasting pink, not so cool. The pink and the orange look really good together with the burgundy. But no, throw the blue in there, and it changes the dynamic considerably. Uh, not excited about that. So, what else is possible? Let's get you down and show you those beautiful cells. Okay, so there are some really lovely cells in here. They are going right down to the canvas, which not always so cool. But look at this cloud-like structure in here. That's that's cool. I like that. And um, up in this corner, there's a whole heap of little cells. They're cool. I like those. And that big cell there is pretty cool. Here's that sweeping line look. 
fact I really quite like that chunk and the way the white and blue have combined there that's that's pretty cool too come on focus there we go and then as we come back down here there's another whole little range of cells on the side there So yeah, okay, my awareness now, you know, choice creates awareness. This is one of the things that we teach in Access Consciousness. Choice creates awareness. So my choice to mix the four colours together has created the awareness that those four colours don't work well together. Look at the way that blue's gone all wispy in there. Ah, focus. It's so cool. This thalo blue is a transparent blue, so it does some super cool things like this um, so choice creates awareness what awarenesses are you receiving with the choices you're making um, I now know that orange and fuchsia and blue and white are not a choice combination I will use again. How's it getting any better than that? What else is possible? What other colour combinations can I choose? I do like this. I say I didn't like the blue, what the blue and the orange were doing to each other. But I tell you what, I do like this. So... How much fun can you have? What else is possible? And what are you choosing? What can your kitchen contribute to your painting today? <laughs> have fun. I adore you. Super grateful for you subscribing, liking. I love your comments as well. Please, please, please uh, interact with me in the comments. Um, I Sometimes it takes me a couple of days to get back to you. But I will definitely get back to all of you. So how does it get any better than that? How much fun can you have today? Bye-bye.